Nobody's sweating here. I don't know where to take you where there's good coffee yet. It's been a non-stop parade of drink, 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 drink. Because there's no good coffee here, right? And nobody's sweating. <laughs> When I started coming back to Manila in 2013, the specialty coffee scene was nascent. One shop put coffee on the map. Fast forward 10 years later and the scene has exploded, not just here in the capital, but across the nation and into the growing regions. Specialty coffee is everywhere, and my dear friend Z has been my guide to the finest coffees the Philippines has to offer. Without a doubt, Z has produced the nation's finest coffees. The Kalasan sweets she produced with the farmers of the Talandig tribe in Mindanao are still amongst the best I've ever tasted. We even did a river wash exclusive coffee together. Just amazing stuff. Today I'm in BGC to sample coffees from Z's latest project. Her taste and approach in coffee are impeccable and I'm excited to see what she's come up with. But I'll save that for another video. After our session, Z wants me to check out a coffee spot. It's just a few blocks away, so we're walking. Which wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the 37 degree temperature and high humidity that's typical of June in Manila. All right, now that we've walked all the way across the fort, in the heat and humidity, <laughs> wet and sweaty. So what do you like about this place? Well, the coffee was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> what that kind of description is it? Was it bad? I could drink it. I can't believe that I walked all this way for not so bad coffee. I just hope the aircon is good because coffee. Oh, it's very pretty inside. The uh, AC is very good. Hello. Which coffee best represents because coffee? Our best seller here is the sea salt latte. That's our trademark. It's a sea salt latte. So it's uh, basically brown sugar latte with I mean, sea salt cream on top. And you think that's the best coffee here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, you'll have that. Cold? cold? No. So it's only cold? Ah, it's ice. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that, that's fine. Do you want regular milk or? Oat or almond. Or... What's the best way to enjoy it? Yeah, regular milk. Thank you, Rex, for saying regular milk. I have ice cream. I had a stomachache. Let's have ice cream. Let's just get one. Oh, there's one that has gold. <laughs> oh, what's the flavor? It's chocolate. You can do mix. You get twist. Are you are you buying? Are you buying? Yeah, this time. Oh, oh, yeah. It's, it's nice when the girl buys. It turns out that because coffee is not really the name of the shop, it's actually called Harlan and Holden Coffee, and because is just their tagline. It's confusing, and you wonder why they put that on their marquee. Harlan and Holden is a Manila-based fashion brand with branches in the Philippines and Indonesia, making it a decidedly Asian brand serving a decidedly Asian clientele. Though you'd never guess that by looking at their website. Oddly enough, there are more people of color represented on the US cover page of Japanese brand Uniqlo. Not to mention distinctly American brands like Abercrombie & Fitch and Ralph Lauren. But I guess that's neither here nor there because we're here for the coffee. The space is clean and very Scandinavian looking, which makes sense because they turned to Danish design firm Gam Fratesi, which placed a glass enclosed fig tree in the typical modern minimalist and cold interior offset by birch colored furniture. The shop also boasts the first mod bar espresso system in the country, as well as a cashless ordering system. But in a nation where only a small percentage have credit cards, a cashless only system smacks of a class system. Of course, none of that seems to matter because because is busy, non-stop busy. We take a seat by the fig tree across from the bar so we can watch them in action. They're slamming it, calm, cool, collected, and they're not even breaking a sweat. What did you put on top there? Sea salt cream coffee. Is this a good choice? Yes, that's the one of our best sellers called sea salt coffee. We chose the wrong thing. Oh, <laughs> you chose the number one favorite. Can I guess first number? Oh, this is the ice cream. Do you like the ice cream? Yes. Are you sure? The boba is still warm. Oh. And it's cooked well. Oh, yeah. Nice. Mm. I like the idea of boba. 
boba with ice cream. And it actually is executed well. Tastes good. Mm. But you know what I need is a bigger, a bigger spoonful. <laughs> but mm. look at the brand. It makes it my nice, right? I wish that the ice cream though was a little bit thicker. That was the one. A little thing. watery. And a little bit grainy. A little bit grainy. Yeah, if it was denser also, it would match the boba. The mobo is like burning through the ice. Mm. All right, so this has a sea salt foam. Kind of like a cheese foam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, I like that. I read a recipe where it's milk with cream cheese that they whip together. That's a thick sea oh, salt topping. Yeah. Yes. Before you get to the coffee, it's nice. Uh, yeah, I agree, it's nice, it's nice. It's really clean coffee, right? Very clean. Actually, quite tasty. I could drink this very fast. And the, the coffee really punches through the... Yes, yes, the coffee stands up well, I agree, I agree. We were just talking about the service and I thought, let's get a pour over. The line's been rolling. They got 200 orders for cold brew and there's at least 30 people in here. Now there's a whole nother like 10. Let's see what they can do for this pour over because it's such a different thing than what they're working on and it probably will put a kink in their plans and I wanted to see, well, we really messed them up. Now we're gonna have their light roasted coffee pour over. And so I told Rex and Rex was like, you dick. And so he's been working on the grind and he's getting it all ready. So we're gonna be seeing, can we make them sweat? They have not, they have not nobody's sweating here. Like it's been a nonstop parade of drink, 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 drink and nobody sweat. Is it automatic, really? No. Yeah, it's actually auto, it's auto brewing. Meaning you just put coffee in it and then? Yeah, so the the machine dispenses, you know, it gives, it gives water, stops, waits, water, stops, waits. Is that a reliable system? Yeah, it should be pretty reliable, but that, that, that's what I was wondering, like, because it was also on this handle, if you wanted to like do a pouring, you could. So I was I was curious to see when introduced with a pour over how they actually handle it. Because you know some places they're very like, you know, brewing. But I wondered like, since they're so busy, like, they manage? so they 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 have a way of providing pour over coffee in this extremely bu busy environment. That should be fairly good. Should be fairly. Good. I would have been blown away if they're doing it by hand. Totally. Oh, it smells good. You have it first. Mm. Nice temperature. Temperature's Perfect. nice. Mm. I don't think it's very sweet. A little bit dirty. I don't get any strawberry. I think maybe on the scent, on the fragrance, there was a little bit of it. Yeah, there's a little bit of florality, I think. But nothing afterwards. Impressive temperature, right? Impressive, like, the ability to brew and deliver in such an environment, you know? But you're right, this is really more like an espresso roast. It's like an espresso roast for the milk, for milk. Yeah, yeah, for sure, but milk would be better. Okay, thank you, thank you. That was our visit here to Because Coffee. You know, okay, when, it, when you said we're gonna go here, I was really kind of reluctant. I was like, oh, just another coffee place. But really, I was really impressed. I thought the coffee was solid, the service was great, and they were amazing to watch. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you going now? Back home. All right, bye. <laughs>